G'day everyone, welcome back to another AGXP special. We're doing a cut or keep today, and with me is my good friend Michael. Thanks, mate. Hello. So cut or keep, uh, what we're doing is we've got 10 movies, we've got to cut five of them and keep five of them. And it gets really hard because we need to agree on which five to cut and which five to keep, which sometimes uh, can be a little bit uh, of a challenge for us to agree on things because we clearly have different opinions here. Yeah, easier said than done. It is, yeah. Uh, and uh, I, f I feel like you're probably among the easier ones of my friends to do this with. <laughs> but That's because I, I like pretty much every movie. It's just varying degrees. So Yeah, right. So I can, I can compromise a bit. Yeah. yeah, I can actually. If you've seen the previous videos that we've done, I've I've done my fair share of manipulation to get you to go with. What yes, I want. yes, you have. Yeah, I, I'm really good at that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So don't today think I heard of you doing it either. Oh, yeah. I'm aware of what you're doing it to me. Yeah, I believe so, but you're powerless to yeah. do anything about against it. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Just right, cut today, it out. <laughs> today we are doing drama thriller dramas and thrillers all right so let's have a look yes. at what movies that we've got on our list of 10. there we go we have yep. seven the usual suspects the silence of the lambs goodfellas fear american history x falling down the fugitive backdraft and pulp fiction all right good set of movies there this is going to be very hard again because straight away looking at the list nothing jumps out to me as a uh, that's not on this at the same level as the others. Well, there's one on that list I haven't seen. Do you know which one it is? Okay. I'm going to guess it is Goodfellas. Incorrect. Backdraft. There you go. I yeah, it was one of those. Two. Okay. That's an awesome film. Oh, no doubt. Uh, Kurt mm. Russell and... Yeah, the, yeah. Like, and the Baldwin. And, uh, is, is there... Yeah, yeah. Is there... Uh, is it like a... Is it an yeah, arsonist Yeah, film? correct. Yeah, yeah, so it's not just them fighting fires and a fire breaks out. It's actual, like, bad Yeah, so Kerr 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 Russell and uh, is it Billy Baldwin uh, brothers? And they've yeah. got a very yeah. strained relationship. Um, their father was a, was a firefighter. They live their lives very differently. Um, the younger brother is trying to join the, the firehouse and there's, you know, family drama and stuff going on. At the same time, there's an arson. Uh, Robert De Niro is a fire investigator, um, and yeah, he's the one that determines that there's a there's an arsonist that's that's doing it, and so it becomes a bit of a mystery as well. It's really cool if you haven't seen it. Um, yeah, pro probably you definitely put put that on your list. Of very worth to check watching. Out. Uh, I know a lot mm. about it. I know that a lot of the fire scenes are all. I think I'm pretty sure it's all practical. Um, and yeah, it's very hard to film. Uh, once again, they uh, featured Backdraft on an episode of uh, Corridor Digital, which is well, why okay. I have the, yep. uh, the respect I have for it, but I've still to yeah, this right. date not seen it. Um, but, well, uh, I feel like if you haven't seen it, then it's it's probably going to get cut, isn't it? It's the easiest one for me to want cut, yeah. All right, cut it. Okay, that's our first choice then. All right, what do you want to cut? Of what's left there... I'm going to put fear forward to cut. Uh, fear. This is... Um, remember how I told you about um, Happy Gilmore was the second yeah, film yeah. at the drive-ins? Oh, was no, Fear the first one? No. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Same story. Okay. Fear right. was the second film after going to see in something that was big that year or whatever. And we yeah, stuck right. around and watched Fear. I reckon I must have been like pretty young. I, I don't remember what year it came out, but I was young. And uh, after the scene on the roller coaster, roller where he's, stuff. He's, <laughs> yeah. uh, he's uh, giving yeah. the old uh, letting the fingers doing the yellow pages, letting the fingers do the walking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think KFC. he packed up and left. <laughs> yeah. <okay. laughs> These are with my older yeah. brother, Steve. This isn't with my parents at all, but I think it was yeah, like, all right. I don't think this is appropriate, and we left. But I thought, I'm like, I need to see this movie. Yeah. So I, I did hunt it down and watch the rest yeah. of it. I thought it was really cool. 
Mark Wahlberg plays a played a really good fucking psycho in that movie. Yeah, he should have done that a bit more through his acting career. Yeah, yeah. But I know I can t- I know why Steve would have thought it was inappropriate and packed up and left because he would have looked in the rearview mirror and you would have been on the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, oh, that's enough for him. We're out of here. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, looking at that list, I, I feel like as good as it is, uh, there's, yeah. Yeah. there's some others that I've got to put before it. So yeah, you won't get any pushback. I'll put that forward. Me. That's fair. All right. Jesus. Well, I'm going to put it out there that, that seven is not getting cut. That That's not getting cut. That's not getting cut. Uh, I look. I'd argue that's the best film on the list. There. Yeah, it is. It's got to be the Fugitive. Does it? Wow. Does it? Y- yeah, Fugitive is. That's a good movie. But it's not Pulp Fiction. It's not American History X. It's not Silence of the Lambs. Come on. I I know you're going to make a strong case of falling down, aren't you? Yeah. Not fucking touching falling down. Yeah. No, I'm just trying to work out what, what are the ones that we 100% agree on. Yeah, falling Down's going nowhere. Falling Down. Silence is going to be a strong one for me. Usual Suspects is a very strong one for me. And I know it's going to be very controversial, not just to you, but a lot of people. But American History X or Pulp I would, would be one of the ones that I would actually cut. Yeah, well... Looking at this list. But would you cut American History X before The Fugitive? Yes. Really? I enjoy The Fugitive a lot. Yeah, me too. I could, in terms of rewatchability, The Fugitive's higher for me. Well, yeah, American History X is a horrible film. And you've got to take yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's it's very uncomfortable to watch. watch. Yeah, 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 because yeah. It, it touches on like extreme racism and hate. Like, it's, yeah. it's horrible, but it's that hard-hitting, like, grim reality. And yeah. I, I really love the story about how he, you know, the leopard changes his spots. But then mm. for his younger brother, like, sadness on how that how he turns out. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, I would go American History X over the fugitive. Excuse me, over the fugitive. But American History well, X. Well, would you go? You'd go Pulp Fiction over American History X. Yeah, yeah. And where do you stand on Goodfellas? Goodfellas is a very, very long movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like I was prepubescent when I started watching that film, and then had a beard by the time it finished. <laughs> yeah. I had to yeah. shave halfway through it. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have been in trouble at school. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so out of Goodfellas, American History X, and Pulp Fiction, what are you cutting of those three? Uh, I would pick Goodfellas. But I was a lot younger when I watched the Goodfellas. Or Goodfellas. Yeah. I feel like I'd appreciate well, that more with a rewatch than I did back Yeah, then. you would. Definitely. I've only seen it once because it goes for so long. It's what a three-hour film. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Two and a half to three for sure. And because it's it's very dialogue heavy, it probably felt yeah. like six hours when back then. But I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown. I amuse you. I make you laugh. I'm here to fucking amuse you. What do you mean funny? Funny how? How am I funny? But then Pulp Fiction is very dialogue heavy. Yeah, but it it's. Oh, dialogue heavy? Yeah. I find all Tarantino's films. That's one of his, like... Yeah, but... Signature things. The dialogue leads to something. I feel like there are a lot of scenes in Goodfellas where it is literally just dialogue. No, you definitely need to watch Goodfellas again. Okay, you're probably right. Um, We can cut Goodfellas and Fugitive then. Not too off there. Those top three for me are locked in. Seven, The Usual Suspects, and Silence of the Lambs? Yeah. Well, then it's American History, yeah? Because Falling Down... No. Okay. You, you don't history. have any comments on Falling Down. Do you not like I love it? Falling Down. No, I love Falling Down. That, I knew I knew straight away you weren't going to cut that one, and I'm perfectly so fine with that. 
No, like that is definitely one of the ones that if you're not putting up an argument for Defense. it, like to cut it, and I'm oh, yeah, how, I'm how good's the scene falling. where he he shoots the the like when he's walking through the uh, the golf golf course, and the guy just goes fuck it, I'm gonna hit the ball, and he almost kills him. Oh yeah, and then he <laughs> shoots his cart and he goes down the hill, and the guy starts having a heart attack, and he's like, "You're gonna <laughs> die on this." This uh, uh, field in those stupid pants and that tiny little hat. Yeah. And now you're going to die wearing that stupid little hat. <laughs> I also like it's, it's um, then they try and do a drive by and they, they completely miss him. Yeah. And they crash. Yep. And then that's when he first gets the gun. Yeah. And then picks he picks up the he, their bag. Doesn't he shoot him when they're down? He's like, learn to shoot ourselves. <laughs> uh... Something like that. I don't think he kills. I don't think he shoots them, does he? I think he shoots him in the leg, doesn't he? Yeah, He's like, but, certainly... yeah, I think so. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, well, I know. I just remember the car crash and the guys. I'm pretty sure he's like out of the car or whatever, and he picks up the gun and puts it in his briefcase. And I, I can't remember. I, I felt they like he shot I'm him. I'm pretty but... sure he takes their bag. There's like a gym. Bag. Oh, they had the duffel bag thing, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. That's right, because there's all the guns in there. Yeah. Take some shooting lessons, asshole. Yeah. Yeah, and then how he, he runs into that um, neo Nazi, and he's he's like, yes, yeah. He's like, it's, it's right, because like, <laughs> he, he's in there getting like, uh, um, like geared up. Uh, he's yeah. like, it, it's it's, the and he's and he's like, no, like, and like, then he, uh, I think he tries to rape him, doesn't he? Is he? I can't remember that. You're not thinking <laughs> of Pop Fiction, are you? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, I know this movie well enough that I'm not mistaken it. And then he beats yeah. the fuck out of him and gets out of there. Like he, I think he, he might even kill the Nazi guy. I can't remember. Uh, I need but to no, watch Falling Down again no, by the sounds of it. But no, that scene happens where like I, I remember the shots with the neo Nazi guy. Put his pants down or something. Yeah. Even after he had his big speech about the fits and all that sort of stuff. It's always the ones that are the most vocal about that kind of stuff that are. That are the the, you know, the, the homophobic like, repelled by their own self hatred. I don't, I don't even like referring to them as like gay because it's just a different kind of thing. They're just like messed up in the head. Yeah. They, they, yeah. they hate gays, but they also fuck men. Like I don't. Yeah. Understand. What is that? That's a different category altogether. That's not gay. That's like psychopathic. It, it's a criminal thing. I feel like this is like a a prison you know attitude yeah. that it's it's a power thing or something i don't know yeah, i don't know I don't but know. whatever it is that they messed up but no that's falling down uh, staying american right. history x is is what we're going to cut i I, th I think so yeah um even if you had no fight i think that's probably what i'd pick anyway okay yeah all right that's our five so we're keeping yes. seven duh the Usual Suspects, The Silence of the Lambs, Falling Down, and Pulp Fiction. Uh, what did you think in the audience there? Did you think we chose wisely? Do you think we were uh, making a, a bit of a mistake with some of those? But uh, it be interesting to see what you think. Put it in the comments down below, and uh, we can have a little bit of a conversation down there. I I'm pretty happy with the list. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than we ended up with, really. Yeah, so did I. It's yeah, like even looking at the five we cut, like there'll be people out there that'll pick those five probably. Well, yeah. But seven, obvious no-brainer. Usual Suspects is such a great movie. That classic twist as well with Kaiser Soze and some fantastic performances. Uh, Silence of the Lambs, like, you know, Sir Anthony, Hannibal Lecter is just iconic. Uh, Falling Down is as hilarious as it is, you know, brilliant. Yeah. And... And Pulp Fiction, yeah. I mean, there's probably people that aren't Quentin Tarantino fans, but I know you're a big Quentin fan, and, and I appreciate a lot of his films. So that's definitely I, his I'm not a, magnum opus, I think. I'm not a diehard Quentin Tarantino fan because okay. I like the majority of his movies, but I definitely don't like all of them. Yeah. So it's not just his style that I like. It's obviously just the brilliant stuff that he's pumped out. He's he's made a lot more awesome ones than the ones that I don't like. Yeah, um, but Pulp's definitely his best by a clear mile. Yeah, I I think. Yeah. 
Kill Bill's probably the only one that really comes. And and Reservoir Dogs probably Reservoir Dogs. next tier. Yeah. Yeah. Reservoir Dogs is amazing. Uh, but you know what sort of makes this uh, not as hard as we kind of make it out? Is that this ab means absolutely nothing. We've <laughs> we've crossed off that is true. Colors. We could still go watch it. <laughs> yes. It's yes. not like we've like now banned it. We're never allowed to watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're... It's kind of how we're carrying on, but... <laughs> <laughs> Well, you make a solid point. Yes, yes, the movies do still exist, and yeah. I feel like I want to go watch Goodfellas and Falling Down again because uh, it's been a while. Well, I feel like I need to watch Backdraft. Full stop. Yeah, and, you do. Yeah, and I need to take off some uh, long service leave and watch Goodfellas again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I'll make sure my uh, uh, my will. My will, last will and testament is up to date before I endeavour it, <laughs> so I may well expire before it finishes, but we'll see. All right, well, thank you very much, everyone, for uh, watching the video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Put your comments down and below. And like we said, put your lists in the comments. Yeah, put it in there. We'll, we'll reply because we don't get thousands of, of comments. The yeah, get, yes, yes. The ones that we do get, we're going to reply because we're very yeah, thankful we that uh, those comments exist. So... Uh, you'll, you'll be uh, guaranteed to get some responses. But yeah. All right. Well, that's it. We'll see you in the next one. And until then, see ya. See ya.